Hello friends, I'm Dr. Colonel Failure and this is Uncle Dr. Colonel Failure's uh, Hollywood Clinic to the Stars. Um, we are in the throes, as you know already, of, uh, of significant uh, remodelling of the hospital. It's the, it's the start of the day and the, the staff are all turning up and somehow in between uh, uh, yesterday night and this morning, two grands disappeared. I suspect that's me paying the night staff. But, uh, but honestly, if they're going to keep that up, I'm going to be in dire straits, as far as money is concerned, fairly soon. Uh, so we've got that to look forward to. Uh, but in they all come. Look, look my diligent workforce. Uh, I like the fact that they're keeping even spacing uh, to ensure that uh, should an ambush occur, uh, they won't all get taken out at the same time. Uh, that's, that's good discipline right there um anyway the next big objective is 50 patients per day we're nowhere near that uh we we get 40 through the door at the moment but uh but we don't manage to treat all of them um i'm hoping that my next exciting development which will be a uh, a general surgery ward general surgical ward a surgical generalism ward uh will uh, will resolve some if not all of that uh, by upping the tempo as far as the number of passengers we can get in the hospital is concerned. Meanwhile, all of my nurses are now just chilling in the rec room. Why do I even bother? Yep, they're just sitting there thinking about kites and nothing but. Meanwhile, who's this? This is Jessie Touchdown, and uh, she's a bit late. Uh, she she actually says that she's going to be a bit late because she's got a long commute. Uh, I don't find that heartening. Uh, neither do I find that acceptable. Um, now, before we crack on with, with yet more tiresome wall removal and, uh, and replacement, I thought we'd just hang out here by reception to see how these new reception areas actually pan out. Um, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I'm not 100% certain it's going to work, uh, but it would be good to see if it got anywhere near so let's up the uh up the speed a little bit and uh, and see how we go right you've taken a number good work absolutely you sit there yep you you can you can sit there as well what i want to see is this i want, I want to see it fill up both sides you see while still using the queuing machine on this side because this whole strip is uh, is dedicated as one uh, one weight area um i don't know where he thinks he's going i didn't see him in the waiting room no, maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Uh, regardless, however, so we're actually, we're actually getting quite a few um, uh, general surgery patients through now, and uh, and it seems fewer uh, non-surgical patients. That's a that's a bit of a concern in the sense that I'll probably have a doctor sitting around doing nothing, and you know, and bum, unless Bumson gets his daily fill of of take, getting people to take their shirt off, uh, you know, he might riot. Um, but you know we'll 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 stress about that when the time comes. Um, okay, well we've got we've got good throughput actually. There is a there is a lot of kind of you know we haven't got a lot of people waiting. What have we got here? Two, four, six, seven, six or seven waiting for for general where I've got uh, well for emergency uh, where I've got four doctors on duty. That's that's fine. Currently nobody waiting in the uh, in the surgical. Which is fun. Oh, hello. What are you? Uh, where are you going? You're come. You've come to. My goodness me! Everyone's in bed. Well, that's a that's a that's a move. Right. Bye, Kate. Uh, she's got gastroenteritis, and I can't do anything about that. I haven't got the right uh, the, the right pump um, or whatever. Uh, right. Meanwhile, who else we got in here? You've got a foot contusion, which for some reason needs you to be in bed. Uh, we're going to go x-ray you. Good. Pay money for that. Uh, that's that. We should charge you plenty for that one. Uh, you're having a CT scan. What's wrong with you? You've got Crohn's disease. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, but uh, Dr. Hazmat is taking care of you. Don't let the name put you off. Um, you'll be absolutely fine. Uh, yeah, although I don't think much of your insurance company. Uh, cheapo care don't pay very well, last I checked. But hey, you know, if the, if the ward's being used, then that's something. Um, right, let's crack on. Uh, now then, if I... I don't know, what shall I do first? Do I remove some walls? Uh, we've got lots of them that I don't need. Actually, no, before we do, before we do that, 
Uh, we'll see if we can't get this cart moved. Cart, mo no, cart, no. Hold on, you were on the right thing. Click that one and then grab the cart and just bung it somewhere for the moment. Not in there because you're going to start working in there anytime, anytime now. Uh, tell you what, stick it in the doctor's office. They'll, they'll never notice. Because uh, obviously that that's just the on-call doctor's office. They'll be they'll be fine with that. Uh, right. Okay. Let's get rid of superfluous doors. Yep. You are a superfluous door. If ever I saw one. Uh, and that one. And then we've got some more over here. Although this is turning into something of a uh, a parking unit uh, for cleaning trolleys. I'll leave that alone. We're only working on this side anyway, so that's absolutely fine. Uh, right, now then, let's get rid of walls, although this one could probably stay. Although, that said, I could narrow the corridor and make more room for the new rooms. I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. No, don't try and stop me. It's happening. Uh, right, okay, let's do some of this. I'm a little bit fuzzy as to whether the uh, the natural brickwork that we've got going on on the outside is uh, is really medically approved. I'm going to go with yes, uh, simply because going with no would mean replacing it, and I, I quite like its aesthetic. Um, all right, okay, so you've done that. Now, for your next trick, do something with flooring. Try not to make it too expensive. Ha, ha, ha. Too expensive. I barely know the meaning of the word in inexpensive. What? Sorry. Uh, right, okay, so we're going to go for two wide instead of the three that we're rocking right now. I think this stripe might be a little bit horrible. Yeah, it is, look. That's that's not good. We're going to have to spend some more money and make it look better. Uh, ooh, well, how about a dark tile with a white line? While beautiful, that is not actually going to solve any of those problems. You're just going to have to go plain with it. Let's go for this uh, peaceful, happy uh, blue lino and uh, and hope that people dig it. Um, actually, I don't really care whether they dig it or not. They're, they're kind of stuck with it. Uh, there we go. Right. Marvellous. Now, that this, at the moment, this is the ICU unit. And having this uh, close to me front lines, I think, feels good. Although, I do need another scanner room. And I don't think I'm going to fit it in this little sliver here. So, maybe a remodel, not today, because I've got too much stuff to move. Um, but a remodel where we use, we, we stick another room in. If you have, just give, give me something that I can point with, would you? Uh, a new room that kind of goes up to about there. And then that way a bit. That would be a scanner room. And then we can turn the ICU lengthways and go up there instead. Crazy plan. Not thought it through. We'll see how it pans out. Uh, right. Anyway, we've got no one in here at the moment. What are you? Well, what room is this? And why are you missing so much stuff? You've got all of that, surely. A biohazard bin. Well, let's see if it disappears. If I put a biohazard bin in the middle of the room. Oh, no. It is. This is missing stuff. This possibly explains why nobody's using it. Could be. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, let's uh, let's get shot. What uh, Observation room. This, you... Is this you? Are you an observation room here? I'll click through everything and see when it lights up. Yep, there we go. You're an observation room uh, for uh, for emergency purposes. And uh, no, it's apparently it's fine. Intriguing, and yet it is poorly equipped. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter whether it's poorly equipped or not. I'm moving it all around. Uh, right, let's bang the beds out in the corridor for the moment. I know that renders them completely useless, but, the, but you know, time has been suspended uh, in order for us to uh, to succeed royally. Uh, let's move the defib. If I can find any of this when I need it, it'll be a miracle. Uh, but just bang that up there. Yeah, that's it. Move it around. Uh, I'm even checking as I go, because I am an out, uh, a total professional. Uh, that uh, that it's not actually costing me a fortune just to move stuff around. Breaking news, it's not. Right, there you go, some of that. Bit of this. Right, now we can sling this up here because my, my entire intention here is just to, uh, just to move stuff about a bit. Um, while at the same time giving them a little more space to play with. Is that everything out of there? What are you? You are an x-ray viewer. 
da, da, don't need it. Um, nobody, nobody uses X-rays these days. This, that's uh, that's last century technology. Uh, they use um, crystals these days. Uh, right. Okay. Now then, let's uh, let's shift this wall. No, wrong one. That one. Yeah. Wall removo from the uh, from the ancient Latin to removo something, um, and then uh, we need a good surgical wall. I I, as much as I like the wood paneling, I'm not feeling it to be the cleanest possible surface we could be employing here. Um, I don't want to spook the patients by using an all metal uh, all metal wall either. Oh, there's a second page. Uh, bottom colour or top colour or bottom with what's this fancy wood with stripe fancy don't use all right i can take a hint um i don't know is it i mean is it all the same it is the same price for absolutely everything in which case we will uh, we will tile the wall um in a suitable color where are we i've gone for this delicious blue color here so we'll go for a delicious blue color for the wall as well and we'll take it to about well, we'll tell you what, we'll take it there, then I'll stick beds in. I'd quite like to add one to two more beds. All right, if we can if we can accomplish that, it would poss possibly, yeah, sure, why not, make it a word. Uh, it would possibly be helpful. Uh, right, and I'll tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll stick with our, our blue motif here and, uh, and we'll spin a little bit of, a uh, little bit of flooring to uh, to to brighten the place up in uh, in a in a brightening the place up kind of way don't do that bit because you haven't decided that that's what you're going to run with yet uh let's go to there yeah that's all good right good right that's now you know perfectly unified unified is what it is i'll tell you something else and i suspect you found out this or you figured this out for yourself i don't need this corridor here at all there is nothing going on there that it serves absolutely no purpose. And I tell you, even if I was allowed to put a fire exit in there, I probably wouldn't. So we'll stick that, I don't know, here, I suppose. <clears throat> if we move this door, is it going to allow me to move it without putting up a fight? Answer, no. Right, well, get rid of it then. Uh, get the door, paint it blue, because then it fits the corridor. Now put it next to the bookcase cases in the way isn't it go on sit sit somewhere oh, you've you've ruined the flow of this room uh this this room is no longer feeling the the happy joyous place that it previously was let's what if i why why is that non-viable i wonder oh wait, it's okay it's okay it's all right no hold on it's not all right it's still rubbish bang that over there can i get a bookcase in here there we go that's it. Right, it's no longer blocking the door to as much of an extent as it was previously. Could possibly rotate the sofa. Yeah, all right. That's uh, probably worse. All right, put it back. There we go. Leave it alone. Don't think about it too much. Uh, and then we can move this up here in between these two doors. Now, that, again, is not particularly convenient. But what this means is that I can now uh, I can salvage yet more space out of this rather shambolic area of the hospital here and uh you know i've just i've just got that much that i can now do things with should i find the ability to do so um right so if we now wallop that look it's an odd shaped room okay just just go with me on this um and then uh what what happened to your nice blue line don't tell me you've given up on that. I was I was feeling positive about it. Now we're going to do this. We're going to we're going to draw it around the perimeter. See, like that. Ooh, tasty. Uh, right. Okay. So you are the observation room. Right, and uh, you get to occupy quite a quite a chunky bit of uh, bit of real estate here. In fact, a heck of a lot. I don't think you need that much space. I've got to be honest with you. I really, I really don't feel that you need that much space. I think if we make you the general surgical ward instead, you will get more use out of that. Um, but what we won't do is the kind of thing that I always. Oh no, no! Look, you need all of this rubbish, um, all of this really useful stuff. 
Well, I'm not going to get an operating theatre, am I? I think the operating theatre is going to be quite expensive. Um, darn. Okay, well, then back to plan A, I suppose. I, I'm, I'm just hoping that wasn't costing me money to uh, to change my mind there. Can't rule it out. Right, observation room. There you go. Do it again. Only the same as you did previously. Right, okay. Right, now, that's in. Uh, I'm not buying anything new. We'll just uh, we'll sling the existing setup in here. The only thing I might change is the, the door position. Give me that one. Right. So if we, uh, I don't know, if you, if you were to, I don't know, about there. Oh, yeah, it feels good. Uh, and then we can stick uh, we can stick you next door. And then you, get, get this for a notion, you can go next door as well. And then I've got room for, I don't know, one, two down there. So that would take it up to five. I could probably get another one on there. Possibly another one in here. It's still not great use of, it's It's rather, if I, in fact, if I grab this one, and spin it round. I'm just leaving too much space in the middle. Now, I mean, we could go uh, we could go military bed style, but even then, you've you've got not enough room there for another one. What about in a row like this? Now you need the head end in order to put a plug thing in the what's it thing. Can you fit in there? Apparently, you can't. Oh, look at that! Oh, I could get it. I can get a heck of a lot of beds in here. Terrific. Right, okay, now then, let's start plumbing all this kit in and then see what we're short of. Um, and you know what? For the time being, we'll stick it all in the uh, in the helpful alcove that I have uh, I have uh, 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 donated. That's a word that I'm going to use. Uh, that I have donated to this area of the hospital. You are a mobile workstation. In that case, we'll put it down there, and an enterprising doctor can ride around on it like a skateboard when they're feeling a little bit bored. Uh, we'll put the defib on the wall there. Yeah, I know. I'm doing this with no real care and attention. All right, it's, it, but we're but we're getting it done. Ah, you will not fit in there. You can do that one. Right, everybody, shuffle up. You move up two. You move up one. All right, I can't cram in quite as much as I had anticipated. Uh, bang that on there. What am I still missing here? Uh, we're going to bin, but we need these these plug gizmos. I think you can probably just call them plugs, actually. The, the, the word gizmo, they're largely redundant. Uh, grab this one, and... Uh, yeah. Right, good. That's one operational bed. No, wait, is it? It's a semi-operational bed. Uh, but it's not an operation bed. Uh, there's an important distinction to be made there. Uh, right, bang you in here. Well, look, you know what? The windows are well placed. Uh, I don't know why he's got... An, uh, do we need the medical light? I guess we do. All right, okay. Well, I didn't see any more. So clearly I was ill-equipped there in the first place. Ah, dear, these things happen. Um, right, okay. Now, next. Uh, we need a sink of some kind with an equipment cabinet of some kind and a bin... And a, a whatchamacallit, dispenser, a, a Tron. Uh, apparently I need more beds. I don't think I do. I think this is just suggesting that I might need some beds. Well, we'll, ch we'll, we'll do everything else and see if that pans out. Uh, give me a disinfectant dispenser. This is, I mean, we're laying this out in an incredibly inefficient fashion, but... Uh, I largely want to see if it works. We need an audiometer, right? We'll bang that on top of this little trolley. What's the, what's the little trolley for? Oh, it's a bedside cabinet. Okay, fine. Shouldn't you have three of those? Which which clown put this together in the first place? Or which clown has sold some of the stuff that we actually need? Right, bang that. No, move it over. Stick that. Uh, no, 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 no. You were fine. You were not fine. Move that down here, because I want to stick an audiometer on the top of it. All right? Good. Now then, bedside cabinet. Apparently, they're, they're non-essential. And yet they are, because as soon as I placed one there, it brought the bed online, and this is now an operational observation room. 
grand. Okay, well, if I can squeak some extra cash out of people that use this, I'm, uh, I'm in favour. What I'd quite like to do is take it a little bit further on. No, I've, ah, okay, no, it's, it's right, you're fine. I've got it, I've got an idea. Uh, what we'll do is I will split the observation, this this big old room here, I'll split it between being observation and uh, and the general surgical ward. Ha 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 ha! It, uh, it's worked with other things, it will work with this as well. I have very high levels of confidence in that being true. Uh, right, let's do that. Give it some tile action. Yeah, this will work. Um, and then... Uh, that way, I can have some action double doors lined up opposite the other action double doors, and people can go like, oh, wow, that's clearly an, an important, uh, important part of the hospital there, to, to set two sets of double doors up opposite each other so people can go, you know, pile driving through it with a shopping trolley. Uh, right, okay, that should do the trick. Uh, let's up the tempo and see if anybody can be bothered to use it. Now then, what I suspect is that... Oh, hold on. No, we've got one. There you are. See, turned it on, and I've got some old duffer sat in there right now going, I feel a bit peaky. Uh, it's Paul Taylor, and he's got possibly scoliosis. Tricky. Um, or he could have uh, spondy lolithesis. Lolisthesis. Ah, that's, a, that's possible. Uh, or possibly spinal stenosis. Flipping it, mate. You have been through the wars. Um, uh, he's got a bit of numbness. got some back pain going on. And at the moment, we are, we're going to be hitting him up with, uh, with all of the bells and whisp whistles that we've got. Patient can't be hospitalized. You need a general surgery department. I know. And I haven't got a general surgical ward at the current time. Um, largely because having a surgery, it looks like it's going to be very, very expensive. Um, but I'd like to get that done. I think he's possibly off for an MRI. Where are you going? Whew, I thought we were going to uh, go through the staff lounge there. Um, just so you know, it's not just you. I hate all of this as well. All this door action I've got going on here has been put together by some kind of mad person. Um, and not by anybody who's got any kind of architectural sense whatsoever. I am aware of it, but I'm not going to fix it just yet because I only just built the thing. The the logic may the logical move may be to to rotate it round so and maybe put a little corridor in the middle for the two small rooms. But since it has only just been built, I'm not going to start faffing around with it again. Look, we've got another one. Oh, which bed do you like, sir? I want this one. There you go. He's clearly not that sick. He's managed to escort himself to bed. Uh, he's possibly got a pork tapeworm. Nasty. Or he's got hepatic fibrosis. I'm, I'm doubtless unpleasant. What does that do? Hepatic fibrosis represents accumulation of scar tissue on the liver. Um, the scar tissue can be the result of long-term inflammation uh, or another liver disease caused by viruses, bacteria, malnutrition or alcohol abuse. Uh, if left untreated, it causes cirrhosis. Well, you have my... Oh, we've got another one. Look. Oh, hey, look. He's either got gastritis, a peptic ulcer problem, or lactose intolerance. Well, you... There's going to be a... You know, you're going to have a guess at which one you wouldn't want out of those. I would say that lactose intolerance is probably the, the least of your of your worries if you if we diagnose with that. But anyway, the important thing here is that we have now activated all of those on-call nurses and doctors uh, that I've been paying so much money for. Um, uh, I see Dr. Tapeworm has, has just he's wandered off. Oh, he, oh, he went to the loo. You never know. You might have got lucky. Um, anyway, that will wrap it up for this time. Um, we're going to keep pushing on. I want to uh, I want to roll through to the end of the day and see just how badly off we are uh, money-wise, because uh, worst case scenario is currently we run out of cash entirely within about a week, I suppose, um, and that would be the that would be the end of that then. Um, so we don't want to do that. Uh, instead, I want to try and break even, and uh, and if I can do that using the resources that I've got now, I will roll forward and build up a bit of a bit of a war chest. Uh, anyway, you're going to want to subscribe to catch the next episode. Uh, because we're going to keep going until I've built a second floor. Um, 
Obviously, if I run out of money before then, we won't be building a second floor. Uh, we'll instead be going, well, that's that then. Um, so subscribe to find out exactly how things pan out and, uh, and fling a like at this one if you enjoyed it and I'll catch up with you very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Cheerio. Why, yes, I am starting to get a little concerned about my bank balance. Um, I'm not sure if the setup that I've got right now is actually going to be able to make uh, a profit. Uh, and, and that's pretty essential, really, uh, because uh, otherwise I'm, I'm going to run low on cash and then out of cash. And, and, and that'll be a disaster for all of us, won't it? Um, anyway, I'm going to experiment a little in between this episode and the next one. Uh, see if I can't get the costs down and the profits up so that uh, so that we have a long and fruitful partnership together uh, in running the hospital for a little while longer. Uh, meanwhile, if you've not done so already, hit the subscribe button. Uh, you, it will make sure that you don't miss out on future stuff. And frankly, you made it through this far in the video. If you're not going to subscribe, I mean, why did you bother watching this far? It doesn't make any sense to me, but for, by all means, justify yourself in the comments. Just make your argument pretty compelling, won't you? Um, anyway, I'll catch up with you very soon. Thank you for watching.